lovelies. It's Stash Dive Tuesday. So Mouse Scrap Lifter is running every day this month. At Stash Dive Tuesdays is obviously on Tuesdays. And I am also using some of Scrappy Adam's Dotty About Flare National Scrapbook Day weekend challenges. These were a few weeks ago. They've closed now for prizes. But I'm not after the prizes. He's already sent me a lifetime worth of flare. But they did actually help me when my mojo was sort of a bit MIA. I thought I would bust out some of my favourite ones and try and finish them this month even though National Scrapbooking Weekend has long gone. I figure well it sort of still counts. It's National Scrapbooking Month isn't it? Isn't every month National Scrapbooking Month? This is the photo that I'm scrapbooking. Yes, it, he's doing what it looks like he's doing. He's all of 11 here. Don't even ask. I've got a weird one. So this is the layout of Adams that I'm scrapbooking. And the reason I chose this one is it was one of Adam's surprise challenges and the layout needs to include limes or lime green. So lime green is definitely a colour that will tie in with the story. Blue I can easily work in there. Half and half, so that's why I picked this one. And it's got a lot of stuff. Vertical lines, so I'm going to have to think about that one a bit because if we're going for a horizontal half and half. I uh, have a wood grain element. I have pulled some wood grain paper and that's something that I thought would kind of sort of work with the story. It's got that rustic vibe to it. One foodie embellishment or paper. I think I've got some stickers. I mean, I know I've pulled some stickers with food sort of embellies, but for some bizarre reason... There is a shortage of stickers in the scrapbooking world featuring either chili or wasabi or anything like that. Um, confetti sprinkles or sequins, well obviously uh, that's a given. And for an added bonus but optional document a meal or food. Well does that count as food? I mean he swallowed it, he didn't like it, the taste, but he said it wasn't as hot as some of the chilies that he'd been eating. I mean this child will taste anything and he'll ask to taste things including things that are not edible. Yes, yeah, so he was going through a spicy food phase and seeing how hot he could handle it and even taking some little bird's eye chilies in his lunchbox to sort of eat on their own in front of the other boys who would also do the same and see who could out chili the other yeah I guess it's like extreme sports for 11 year olds what do I have now the rules for stash dive Tuesday are no more than two items from any given collection now this is one from color study I don't even know if I'm going to use this one so technically that gives me a pass for another one this one I thought I could use as some photo mats or I could use it for the top half of the page but I think I'm going to use this one for the top half of the page because I quite like the effect it has here and it's this is more the sort of green that I was thinking this one's a very yellowy green but it still works because it's the same as this one so I think as I lay it up crazy photo mat so I think I'm going to have to raid the scrap box for more layers oh that's got these gorgeous stripes hmm vertical stripes Adam says maybe I could use a strip of that and I've got a few different wood grains see how different this one's from the paper pad and this one's like the regular double sided crazy I actually like this color better for this kind of story although this would um I always try and use the paper pad ones first because you know there's only one side to use right whereas this gives me two choices and these ones are that one's pebbles oh this one's from a food collection it's got recipe cards on the back which I wouldn't use because there's no way I can write a recipe in a 4x6 card although it could be used for journaling for something else and I think the wood grain is going to be a good spot to journal with white pen there's only a couple of stickers in each sheet that I pulled these for like true story it's got the lime green and the blue bold and brave but that's got the lime green and the blue this I pulled out for this one uh, this would actually work as a food themed one it's got the kind of a big deal which I think all boys of that age think they are don't they and the icy pole is well that's probably the first thing I would think of if you're eating something spicy this one has got the colors I like that chill again it's not chilly but using the word chill or um, ice cream type motifs and it's got sort of that juvenile bright colored 
kind of vibe to it. Um, maybe I can use some of these pretzels. Oh, this one. I think I pulled this one out for the sushi because there was definitely no sushi consumed, but generally that's what you would use wasabi on. Some boy stickers like Daredevil and Built Tough. Oh, this is a food sheet. It's kind of a different style. So I chop it like it's hot. I could just put like it's hot. These also lime green and blue and it brings in some rainbows. So I thought I could mix in a bit of purple. Don't know why, but they've done it here and it looks really good. My middle name is Danger Woodwork, but I think I'm going to save this one for one of his broken arm pages. More lime green here. The moustaches. I do have different moustache stories, but you know, uh, nobody sees the world like you. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, and this thing of die cuts, which is actually die cuts I've pulled for like the next three different layouts and then a whole bunch of leftover ones and things like that. I've got now I'm just looking at what I'm scrap lifting so rather than doing a line of embellishment this way which will cover up probably most of this if not all of it and this is going to be my vertical element my vertical stripe element I thought if I do the photo somehow like this and do say journaling here well, or anywhere really down the bottom, but I could do a big embellishment cluster and title here, a smaller one on this side, it's offset, and then a little one up there. Is that going to work? I don't know, but I think that's how I'm going to run with it. I don't have much choice at this stage. All right, so the next step is I'm going to do one of my crazy photo stacks using colors from this strip. I kind of wish this pink was red, but that's okay. I'm sure Max will forgive me. So I did go through my scraps and there's a couple of whole sheets as well. There weren't any sort of purples that, I mean, there were some lighter purples, but seems to be a shortage of darker ones in the scrap box. So this one seems to play well with the purples here. Since I've got all this room to play with, I could maybe add a tag or something here. I'm pretty sure I've used this one. I can do all the things with um, Max before. But this one, I mean, find it with green, just the fabulous part. Although I did, in this box of die cuts and things, got some loosely fussy cut from a Simple Stories paper. These Viewmaster wheels. So that could be something that goes in the embelly clusters. I've got leaves too. Because, I mean, wasabi is like, it's, it's horse, horseradish, a type of horseradish. So, so, let's see. I want something that's going to go straight to the photo. Maybe an orange one. The orange here is a fairly light one. So I only pulled two.
Alright, this is where I have got to and I've got some title options here. Um, I couldn't think of anything catchy or interesting to do as the title so I'm just going to continue with using my phrase stickers. So there's a bunch of random things here and I'm just going to start... I mean, I pulled out, out of that box and some of the sticker sheets, the things that I definitely wanted to include. And then I can do a second pass if I need to and pull in some other little bits. So let's see, this is the biggest space, so it makes sense for that to go there. I'm probably going to just put the biggest pieces here. My only reservation is everything's quite wordy. So I'm using the number 11. I cut away the sides a little and top a little bit because... I knew it would be kind of tucked. Um, let's see these. This one I thought could go up there because it's already, it's one that went off the edge of the page. Something like that, I don't know. What else? Um, maybe this one can go here and I can cover up that bit of pink. I'd still like that orange though. Yeah, I don't really want to cover up too much of this stripy border because I really like it. So, um, maybe there. This, for obvious reasons, has to go in. And the only place for the arrow would be up here. And it's not tall, so that works nicely. Some random basic grey chipboard. This I cut sides down I think it was one of those two by two squares and I top the top and bottom were already I think that size but yeah I could cut that apart actually into individual words if I needed to this he definitely is giving it a whirl so it was his first time trying it um let's see some of these leaves this one looks like it could live horizontally maybe I could tuck it something even don't know, behind that purple, something. Something along those lines. Quite like the dandelions, they're a weed, so they sort of reminded me more of wasabi than actual flower flowers, although these are from that Chamel's, oh, what is it called? Field trip. So they're sort of a bit more prehistoric looking, so less girly anyway because I kind of want this to connect with that although if I drop it down a bit then that's going to leave me pink or something I mean despite the fact that there's pink it's going to leave me a little bit more of that stripe so it's not the worst idea actually yes I could even I don't know maybe even put on foam maybe um, what else have I got? Where's my... Ah, here it is. It's a bit hard to sort of visualise without taking the backing off that. Maybe even that could just sort of sit on its own a little bit. Don't know. I'll leave that one just in case we need that later. Okay, that's the smallest one. And this could go something like that. Or in the middle. That's these cork sheets that I've still been working my way through. But they gave it that bit of a, a rustic vibe. These the little word stickers, they can go in later. These ones. I could put one in each area but that looks kind of weird does that look weird otherwise just do it like a little cluster here somewhere does that look weird yeah that looks weird i think i might just sort of tuck them so just an itty bitty bit of it is showing okay that's got that sort of teal blue this is a really bright blue there i will have to probably um yeah they're translucent i'm going to have to put them on paper before i stick them down. As far as titles go, I've got some of these. Now Wild Child definitely works, but it is the same green and it's a bit small. I was actually thinking this one. Uh, there's nothing else really the same sort of peachy orange, peachy pink colour, but it doesn't look so completely off. Does that make sense? I could technically colour over it with a sharpie 
or alcohol ink or something. There's this one, there's the word trouble and I could do here comes trouble. It's not really the sort of story for that. I might try the, the feisty and fierce and just see. Okay, I think that's going to work. So I'm going to put it on fast forward while I ink and glue. sprinkled with two kinds of mist um, the Dina Wakely gloss mist the this one I thought would it, it's a very light purple and I thought it could almost because my initial thought was white but I realized I hadn't brought in a lot of the purple so I went with that and then blue was on the list to, to use and I hadn't used a lot of it just one photo mat and this gray blue label and a little bit in some of the embellies so that turquoisey blue color uh, ocean. So I've made a mess in some areas. I tried to journal while it was drying without putting my hand in it, which I did anyway. And it's journaling is completely wonky and lopsided, but you know, it is what it is. So flare badges. I thought some of the really bright multicolored ones, but they just looked way too busy. So there's some that are compromised. They've got a bit of multicolored treatment to them. But there's a lot more white space. There's sort of superhero words. Because that's kind of what you would expect a tube of, when you squirt a tube of wasabi in your mouth, you would sort of expect this kind of thing to happen. And it's a sort of little bit different way to use them. I like this one because that's like smoke coming out of your ears. Yeah, I might run with this. And with red. I could put wow or maybe switch it up a bit. Put the power there and the wow there. Well, I'm just going to sit those before I add foam to them and just see how I feel about them. Now I've got to sneak in some of these. Let's see. This doesn't really have much blue anywhere. If I put a foam square under that, that might actually hold up this thing. Yeah, that gap in the leaves is kind of bothering me. So maybe I'll do that. Now this guy, where are we going to put him? Well, I should probably decide this one first. I'm leaning towards putting that darker green here. Maybe in that little gap there. Now this one. Okay, now these words, the hard as nails I cut apart because I thought that being a longer sentence it would be more versatile. Okay, where are we going to put this one? Maybe this one needs to be cut apart too, huh? Yeah, I'm going to cut this one apart, I think. Now maybe I could just shove this here somewhere. Now, sprinkly bits and the date. I could write it by hand or I have a roller date stamp primed and ready. Just need to find some kind of 
sticker or something to put it on. We'll put it straight onto the page actually. Yep. Sprinkly bits. So there are these. I was briefly considering some words for the title stickers. And there are these with some great words. There I go with the words again. But yeah, there's Wild Child. Uh, what was the other ones that I wanted? Uh, because he didn't want the taste. And that's kind of my reaction. Oh, and then there's just Wild here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that. Even though I'm only putting in one in each area, that's kind of sprinkly bits, right? Okay, I'll go on with the green sushi there. So I'll go with a green... And I don't want wild child there, so that means just here somewhere. Crazy cool kid. Where am I going to put this? Here? Maybe just in this space. So this one's red and white, and that one's like a lime green. Oh, maybe not that one then. Maybe just here, above the wild child. I do actually count the the, the mist as like the confetti. So I think, yeah, is that, that's what Adam said in his... Um, that was, I think, the last, or one of the last instructions. I think there needs to be a star. I really do. green stars so I'll keep going with that yeah I'll be consistent and make the stars green so and a darker green star over here Use that one. Hmm. Alright, okay, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna put this one here, put that one there, and then put one of these little loose ones up here somewhere. Okay. One last look. Let's see. This is Adam's, this is mine, and I have got limes or lime green blue uh yeah in little bits and pieces oh and the sprinkly bits um half and half yep vertical lines okay this is my nod to vertical lines wood grain element foodie embellishment or paper so uh the sushi and the icy pole thing and this kind of sort of counts, right? With the word snacks on it, surely. And confetti slash sprinkles sequence, yes. Got these, the little enamel foam sort of ones, and then the sprinkly um, mist. And I'm going to totally count these little puffy things as well. And for an added bonus, but optional document a meal or food. This is neither a meal and it's a condiment. That's that, That's got to count, right? Now I need to stop looking at everything else that I've pulled out because I'm going to want to add more. And I think I've probably already gone past the point of um, stop before you ruin it. That's usually three steps too far is 
I'm going to have to put alright where did that go okay I'm going to have to come back and put glue dots on the back of those because they're uh, not improving with age but anyway thanks so much for watching please go and check out the stash dive tuesday and the mayo scrap lift you cruise and i think adam's on both of those so um, yeah i'll put the link to his facebook group the dotty about flair and and uh, he'll be in the link up if you want to watch his videos anyway because he's doing those collabs so uh, thanks again for watching and i hope to see you again soon bye